Hey guys, welcome back to the last door. So the cat disappeared in here. I don't think I can do anything. This is to the right, but this goes down, so... For now, that's it. This was outside? This was outside. So I guess there's nothing I can do here. Okay, I guess I got it here too. Curtains are drawn. Weren't they open before? The crows did that. They better leave it alone. Yeah, that's true. Okay. My coats. Okay. This was locked, right? Stuck. Cannot force a wooden knife. If only I had that crowbar. I guess I got everything here too. And there's that sound, something falling, but. What is that sound? They had a baby? There's a big raven perched outside the window, tapping on the glass with its beak. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Oh, these were pictures. I got this. Did that. What would I need a knife for? Oh! Got the mouth open, right? Golden key. Oh, there. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's still there. Grab him. Something in his pockets. Sealed letter. Oh, dear, dear J. David. If you are reading these lines, and I am nothing but a dead body hanging before you, I write to you my last treasure of lucidity. You are one of my oldest friends, and when I sent you the letter asking you to come here, I did not doubt for one moment that you would. Had you failed me this evening, everything would have been lost. I have found myself involved in a series of horrible incidents. For reasons beyond my comprehension and sanity, I have become a total stranger to myself and to my closest relatives, cap capable of the most indescribable and atrocious acts. I cannot give you any more details at this time. I must ask you to go immediately back to the boarding school where we made that pact, where we all swore on our honor that sentence that would protect us. This letter must not reach anyone else, so it is imperative that you destroy it immediately. The lives of the rest of the group and yours too are in great danger. Do not delay. They, they are already waiting for you. Seeing is believing, David. Do not forget that. Always your loyal friend, Anthony Beechworth. Oh, what are they doing? Oh! Holy shit! Should I run? Oh, holy fuck! Oh, fuck. So cool. The adventure continues in episode two. Last door was funded via Kickstarter. Ah, 2013. Two years old. Okay, continue. Yeah? Oh. Oh, I should select it? Oh, there. There we go. <laughs> Previously on. Oh, that's so cute. Let's skip it. Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Oh. Oh, I'm a priest! This Jesus looks very interactable. 
<laughs> That's a good sentence. <laughs> thy kingdom come, thy will be done. In the earth is in heaven. Okay. Give us each day our daily bread. Oh, whoa. This is not where I wanted to go, uh, priest. Forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive our debtors. Oh no, don't kill yourself! Oh! Oh, he's whipping himself. <laughs> Deliver us from evil. <laughs> Amen. Holy shit. Birdie! Okay, now I can skip it. Because I already watched it in the beginning. Now tell me, where are you? What do you see? <gasps> yes! I love this, black and white. Where are we? <gasps> Anthony, answer me. Whoa. Okay. What is it? <gasps> Baby! Closer, get close to Anna. Anna, I mean. Oh, fuck! Everything's getting away from me. When I count to three, you'll wake up. One. Two. I knew it. Three. Wake up, wake up. <gasps> oh, I'm still me. Mr. David, there will be enough for today. Are these sessions really necessary? I'm confident that this is the best course of treatment for his symptoms. Now, did you ever see him again? I saw it. What did you see? Can you describe it? Ooh. Looks like a crow to me. It's like an eye, perfectly rounded and dark, deep and empty, accompanied by the most horrifying pain-filled screams I've ever heard. Evil dwells deep below, forgotten fear for human reasoning, but undoubtedly still rests deep down inside our being. My case, that fear has already awoken. I can understand why I disturb, Mr. Devitt. With your permission, I would like to consult on your case with a colleague of mine, a man I've known for many years, who is more versed in modern psycho psychological practice. Yeah, modern, 19th century. I think his knowledge and experience would be very helpful in enabling us to understand your condition. If you think it would help, Doctor, I leave it in your hands. The agony grows increasingly unbearable. If you believe this man can help, then I welcome his aid. Thank you, Dr. Wakefield. I bid you good evening. Wakefield, maybe we should remember that name. Ah, Anthony, my friend, what really happened to you? How could you have left your wife Anna die so awfully? Yeah. And blind the cat. Don't forget that. These doubts consume my soul. I hardly remember the time we spent together as schoolmates. I confess that beyond your enduring friendship, I can recall little of those years. Were your words the result of an increasing loss of sanity? In your letter, you wrote some that someone awaits me. A warning toward me from a... To ward me from a genuine danger or merely the ravings of a brilliant mind at, at adult by insanity? Something stirs uneasily within my heart. I will not rest easily again until I go back to that boarding school and find out what secrets may lie within. Yeah, let's go! Farewell, Mr. and Mrs. Beechworth. Rest now in peace. Oh, that's sad. Ah, he's traveling. I love this. They did such a good job. Oh, carriage. It's so weird to think how hard it was to travel in the old days. Considering that I now live across the world and I visit my family once a year and it's a journey of merely it's a 12-hour flight Damaged mailbox Postcard Oh 
Dear Matthew, it has been several months and still I have heard no news from you. My brothers insist that you have abandoned me, but I am sure you remain true. I know that you would never do that to me, for I know your heart and your honesty of your eyes. I got this address from a hospital in London and pray that it reaches you safely. If that is the case, I want you to know that I will always be waiting for you. Forever yours, Juliet Holloway. Cute. Okay. He walks so cute. The Angel Gabriel, the school's emblem. I remember it being very pristine, but it looks neglected, neglect, neglected and dirty now. Stone Eagle lies on the floor. Appears to have been broken off the fountain. Can we repair it? Nothing. I like the sounds. It reminds me of summer here in Japan. Oh, there's someone here. Excuse me, sister. Good evening, sister. Good evening, I'm Mother Elizabeth. What brings you here, Mr. Devitt? I'm a for former student of this boarding school. As you can see, Mr. Devitt, this stopped being an academic institution a long time ago and is now exclusively dedicated to prayer and the well-being of the patients under our care. <gasps> it's a madhouse! I see. Even so, may I please speak to... Mr. Devitt, I'm afraid that we are too busy to start wasting time talking about past issues. In addition, there is little to say. We sisters arrived after the boarding school closed down. Everybody but Monseigneur, of course. Monseigneur? Exactly, but you didn't answer my question. Why have you come to this place, Mr. Devitt? Um... Hmm. I think maybe remember. If you have memory problems, I would recommend you to visit a doctor immediately and those wait, don't waste your time. What a sassy nurse. Uh, not a nurse, none. Uh, okay, then this. I guess that it would be a good idea to visit this place again and perceive the passage of time. Oh, what are you talking about? To be honest, I prefer not to talk about it. I couldn't tell you why this place is so important to me, but it is a lot. Well, I appreciate your honesty, Mr. Devon. I'll allow you to stay around here. I hope I won't regret my decision. Don't worry, mother. Thank you. Uh, it always freaks me out that they call nuns mother and then priests father. Okay. <laughs> I took off my coat. You are not allowed to get in there. Did she say it with evil red font? What's that? Where are you? Oh, that's the the guy. Among the baggages, I can see a packet of letters bound by twine. I'd ask you not to touch my belongings, please. You're not aware of who you were talking to. I'm sorry. Who am I talking to? Doctor! I'm sorry, I'm not a doctor. Pay him no mind, he has been delirious for some days. I'm Miss Mary Vinge, and this is my doc brother, Matthew. Juliet, ugh, why have you left me? Why you don't answer my letters? My letters. You see, the poor man is still obsessed with his fiance. He won't accept that she left him months ago. My poor Matthew. I'm very sorry, Miss Vinge. I hope he recovers. Thank you. Well, he won't. Nothing of interest. Saint Camillus de Lely. Lely? Patron saint of the sick hospital and nurses. Seems to have forsaken this place. Ah, Medical reports. Photographs. Family and friends. Okay. Magazine Weird Tales. Is that the Weird Tales of Lovecraft? That would be cool. Are you alright, madam? Or... No, wait, I think Lovecraft was 90-20, so that's not possible. There was a rhythmic sound, like a breathing. What do you mean? It's last night. I felt an increasing pressure on my temples. Something dry and rough, like a tree bark brushed against my leg, and I saw something on the wall, like a growing shadow. I lit the lamp and there was nothing. I'm sure it was just a nightmare. Madam? She's just ignoring you already? Fallen into an uneasy, uneasy sleep. Pale young boy. Aww. Piety! Or piety, right? 
I'm sorry, you cannot be here. Some way I can help? Don't worry about it, sir. The Lord looks after each and every one of your patients. He will provide you with all the help you need. If you wish, you can pray there, next to the statue of Our Lady. Don't you think she's beautiful? The Virgin listens to those in need. Okay. This place is even more marvel. <laughs> Portray of sympathy and compassion. She seems to look more pain, pain than sorrowful. Aww. Unlock the door. Where to? Oh, to the outside. Coffin badly finished. Bit rushed. Ooh. Good evening. I hope you're right and this turns out to be indeed a good evening. Going Gandalf here. My name is Devitt. I did not know there was a graveyard here. My pleasure, Mr. Devitt. I am Frank Baldwin. Do not ask me why, but Monsieur specifically ordered to bury the corpses here. Did he order to bury corpses here? Why? I do not understand. What is there to understand? God has forsaken this place. Ooh. I'll leave you with your work. Have a nice evening. Who was that postcard again for? Can I read it again? Matthew. Okay, so I should find a Matthew. What was his name? Mr. Baldwin. Okay. Haha, <laughs> it's messy. What's this? Looks out over the ocean. That's nice. Old fishing net. Hmm. What's that? Perfectly smooth this flotsam into a small log. Huh. Okay. The lost pilgrim sea stack older students at the school used to climb. Ah. Oh. Somewhere up there are my initials. That's nice. Sounds like fun. Boarding school next to the ocean. That's cool. Cliff looks very inviting. I wonder how many poor souls have jumped from it. Inviting? That's not good. Nice piano music. Oh wait, Matthew. Wasn't that the sick guy? The one who is asking for his fiance. I think this letter is addressed to you. Oh, thank you. Leave it with me if you'd be so kind. As you can see, my brother is too weak to read it. <gasps> oh, it's a letter from our mother. <gasps> I wish that your beloved sister you come back home soon. Oh, the bitch. She's... this is all the letters of... Oh, I just took it. My letters, all the letters I wrote to dear Juliet. You never posted them, but why, Mary? Why would you do such a thing? How could you be so cruel? I had to do it, Matthew. You refuse to see how inappropriate a match she is for you. <gasps> the bitch! Her only interest is in marrying someone of your status, of your our family status. It was for your sake I did this. I did it to protect you from that woman's treachery. No, you only thought about yourself, of your vanity. I can't bear to look upon you anymore, Mary. Leave me be. From this day forth, you are no sister of mine. <gasps> I broke up a family, now I feel bad. You dare banish me? I, who have stayed by your side all this through your illness. Very well, Matthew, you will have your way. I will leave you and then you will see how very alone you are. Farewell, brother. Well, have fun reading. Thanks be to the Lord that you have come to reveal my sister's cruelty, sir. Please take this coin as a token of my appreciation. It is my lucky coin, though I hope it serves you better than I had myself. Huh. Okay. What the hell am I gonna do with these items? 
still hope to ring my fiance back. No. Did I read that? Oh yeah. Okay. Then let's move on. Party! It opens. Remember that we used to keep here some textbooks. Now it's a music box. Can you take it? You can. You're stealing from a nursing home. Whoa, so white. Dear brother, I have received your letter and I'll try to write you more frequently. I hope you are studying a lot and you feel comfortable here. We miss you a lot. When are you coming back? Father is in bed with fever and I do not feel very well, but I am on medication. Today is my birthday and I'm feeling blue. It is a quiet and boring Sunday at the village. Mom is going to cook a lemon cake like those grandpa used to make. I wish we could eat it together. Write back soon. I am looking forward to knowing how you are doing and what you are learning, how is Scotland and so on. Big hug and I think about you a lot, dear sister. Ah, me. I miss my family. Father Ernest seemed quite unusually troubled today. Several times he paused abruptly in the middle of a lecture for no reason, even during his favorite class, theology. Today, Father Ernest was very irritable. Collins made a comment and was expelled from class for it, and even David was admonished just for reading a philosophy book. I hope Father Ernest doesn't turn his ire toward me. My father will be disappointed if I fail to get good marks. It was very disconcerting to see Father Ernest entering class so pale and sweaty. In the middle of his lecture, he stumbled, dazed, and had to sit. Father Eugene taught our theology class today, even though he doesn't know the subject matter as well as Father Ernest. When we asked him what happened to Father Ernest, Father Eugene told us that he had taken ill. What worries me is that now Father Eugene is also starting to look unwell. They just really can't teach theology. It's been a month since we last saw Father Ernest. We are told that he is still sick, but if he is so ill, then why hasn't a physician come to treat him? My studies are flagging, but I have taken it upon myself to read on my own. I hope this helps as much as I must succeed in spite of the problems happening around us. It was announced this morning that the school is to close. None of us know why, and we cannot get a straight answer from the faculty. They each dodged a question, and I'm starting to think they may not know the answer themselves. Their anxiety is palpable, though they tried to hide it beyond the calm, behind a calm face. But what about Father Ernest? I, heard, I hear he alone is to remain after we vacate the premises. Picture. Oh, someone is scratched out. Graduation class. See myself, Father Ernest, and Anthony. I do not remember the names of the others. One face has been completely scratched out. Isn't that the face of your buddy? Ah, fuck. Okay. Books on the shelves, theology. Odd sentence written on the board. In death there is hope, in death there is life. One will seek its true nature to understand the nothing. Looks like it has been there for years, as the chalk has faded in some places. Okay. Okay. Can I take that candle? Not yet, probably. So, I've been here. I guess we can check the other side, still. Maybe put the music box next to the lady that's here. No. Maybe she wants a log or a net or a stone thingy. No. I guess I should get more of a hint if I need to do something like that. So, upstairs? There's so much to explore. Dusty old tapestry of the Virgin Mary, baby Jesus. 
I keep wanting to grab that candle. Oh, who are you? Morphine. Ooh. Who are you using morphine on? I guess in the old days that was considered okay. I guess in America, morphine is still pretty much used, isn't it? In... I don't, I'm not sure, but in the Netherlands it's kind of a taboo. You don't want to... You only use it if you really need to use it. But it's also used to euthanize people, so it's got a really negative uh, image. Dusk cold wind freezes the room. Good evening, sister. Sister? All this suffering, all these tears, all our prayers unanswered. What do you mean, sister? All these years entrusted to the Lord, praying, looking for a sign, for something that can give me strength. Every day I hear them cry, pray, scream, and die. And what for? Where are you, Lord? Why don't you answer me? Certainly, yes, but I don't ask for much, just something to go on, a path to follow. I can't go on, not like this. Excuse me, sir. Oh, I feel bad for you. Sorry. I did not expect that. Oh, what a beautiful melody. It reminds me of my youth when I was vibrant and full of purpose. I knew my path then. Oh, may God bless you. For you have given me the sign I was looking for. Ah, I did something good. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. I didn't expect that, but... Um, let me pause it here and we'll continue again tomorrow. I hope you guys like it. Bye! See you tomorrow!